Hey, how's it going? This is Big Tony here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a hobbit hole. This hobbit hole is made for 1.17 and it comes with a fully decorated interior. The materials list will be in the description and I'll show you the layout when we're ready to build the inside. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, find where you want to build your house and then go ahead and flatten out an area of about 15 to 17 blocks in width. We'll start with a mixture of deep slate and cobbled deep slate. Place three blocks like so. And then in the ground, place three dark oak planks. Then we'll place two more deep slate blocks in the front, then go back a level and place three more. On that rightmost block, place one more, then go up and over one, and place three more blocks. Now going back down, we're going to place another L shape like this, and then we'll place three more blocks. In this gap we left with the dark oak planks, we'll make a 3x3 three three door. So start with one spruce door and then surround it with spruce trapdoors. Next we'll build up our walls with a mixture of oak planks and stripped oak wood. So build up two blocks high on the left side, two blocks high here, and then we'll place three blocks going across the door, but first of all let's get the right side. Build those up two blocks high, and then we'll place three blocks above the door. On the left side of the right side, we'll start by building it up three blocks high for two layers. Then we'll go up a level, and we'll have three blocks that are the same height as the chimney. Then on the right side of the right side, we'll build two layers up three blocks high. And these last two layers will build up two blocks high. Now we'll just stop here for a second in case you missed anything. Then we're going to build up some dark oak details. Start on the left side with a stair, a trap door, and then an upside down stair. And then place an open fence gate on that stair. You don't need to do anything on the left side because that'll be covered up by ground later. On the right side of this front part, do the exact same decoration. Then on the side here, we'll place a stair, trap door, and then a stair, but no fence gate. Now on the far right side, we'll place a stair trap door and an upside down stair just like before and with the open fence gate. Again you don't need to do anything on the side because that'll be covered up by ground. Around our door we're going to make a circle so start with a stair in each of the four corners. Place a trap door in between each stair. You don't have to place one on the bottom if you don't want to. It might get a little bit annoying. Then to make this more round place another trap door on each of those trap doors except for the one on the ground. Next we'll build up our chimney using our deep slate, cobble deep slate, and some deep slate coal ore. So we'll place three blocks on the bottom, then place two more blocks on the right side of the chimney. We'll place a stair right here, and another stair here. Those are cobble deep slate stairs. And one more stair facing in towards the chimney on the right side. Then we'll build up our chimney two blocks above the wall for a total of seven. At the top of your chimney, place a campfire and surround it with trap doors. And again, I'm just going to pause here in case you missed anything. So next up, we're going to build our roof using dark oak slabs and full blocks. Start on the right side with top slabs that will extend out to the fence gate, and they'll just go back until they meet the hill, so that'll depend on your landscape. Then we'll place another line of slabs. On the next level, we'll place full blocks, extending out by one and then one slab on the end. For the next level up, we'll place slabs, sticking out by two, and then one more slab underneath. Then we'll place full blocks, extending out by one with one more slab on the end. And this is a repeating pattern, so we'll do this up until the top, which is where it meets the chimney, and then we'll go back down.
When you get to right here, place a full block. This is where it'll meet the next roof. Now for our lower roof, we're basically doing the same thing. So we'll start with slabs right next to that stair. Place two slabs on top of that fence gate. Then we're repeating the pattern. And as you see here, it should connect with the other roof. Alright, so that's our roof, and I'll just pause here for a second. Next we're going to add some decorations to our house. Let's start with a lantern next to the door. And then next to our chimney we'll make a big bush using azalea leaves and flowering azalea leaves. Try to make this look natural, you don't have to copy my exact pattern. Next I'm going to place some glow berries on the chimney, and some vines on the wall. And you can use oak signs to add some detail to the wall and stop those vines from spreading. I'll add another glow lichen right here. Next I'm going to make a path using mossy cobblestone, mossy stone bricks, and stone buttons. I'll just extend my path out a little ways, I don't have anywhere for it to lead. So I'll just have it kind of trailing off right here. I'm going to place some grass blocks back in just to make the shape look a little bit more rugged. And then I'll fill in the rest with a mixture of that mossy cobblestone and mossy stone bricks. And finally I'll sprinkle in some stone buttons just to spice it up a little bit. Next I'm going to do some landscaping. You can do this however you want, but how I'm doing it is I'm just bone mailing moss blocks. I felt like this was a little bit too much, so I broke some of those azalea trees and most of the tall grass. Next I just dug out a little pond and placed coarse dirt for the ground and added some aquatic plants. So that's it for our exterior, and now we'll head inside. Now before we start digging, here's the layout of our interior. I'll tell you all the dimensions while we're digging, but it might be useful to have this. Our entry room will be 5 blocks by 5 blocks, so let's go ahead and dig that out now. For our floor, we'll place a 3x3 sort of rug of tuff in the middle, and then we'll surround that with dark oak planks. For our roof, we'll just continue the roof we did on the outside. So start with these full blocks on the fourth level, and then slabs next. And then for the top level, just dark oak planks. Going across from side to side on the fourth block up, we'll have a spruce log beam. Now directly across from our front door, we'll have a 3x3 three three entrance into the bedroom. And on the right side, we'll have another 3x3 three three entrance right in the center of that wall. On the left side, we'll have an enchanting area. So we'll break out a 3x3 three three on there as well. We'll add some details, so place a stair, a trap door, and an upside down stair. Another trap door on the roof. And then we'll repeat that detail on the other side. 
Next, we'll dig one block back. We'll fill in that floor with dark oak planks. Place an enchanting table in the center there. And then these walls are going to be made out of bookshelves two blocks high. And to get 15, you'll need one in the corner. So that should be 15 bookshelves right there. Next, behind those dark oak details, we'll place an oak stair on each side, then an oak slab at the top. On our third level, on the back side, we'll place two barrels. And this one will be a grindstone, but first let's fix up those walls with oak planks. So to place all those stone blocks with oak planks, and one right here too. In our roof will be dark oak planks. And finally just place a lantern somewhere on the ceiling. And then we'll go outside and fix all the damage we did. So just use some moss blocks or grass blocks to cover up the walls of the house. And then I'll just do some work to make it look more natural. Now going back inside, our bedroom will be a 5 by 4 so let's break out one layer of blocks this way, and then break out one layer of blocks in each direction for a total of 5. And we'll break out 4 blocks high. And our room will be 4 blocks deep, we already have 1, so 2, 3, and then 4. And then we'll just dig all this out. On the right side of the back wall, we'll have a little reading nook. So break out two blocks wide and three blocks tall. Then we're going to go ahead and fill in our floor with dark oak planks. For our walls, start with your deep slate and cobbled deep slate on the first level. And go all the way around. For the rest of our walls, we'll use oak planks and stripped oak wood. On this side right here, break out a 2x3, but don't place it in your walls just yet. Place two oak stairs on each side, and then one in between. And this will make some shelves. And then we'll fill in the rest of our walls with our oak mixture. At the top of our little reading nook, place two upside down stairs to form an arch. And then we'll make this 3x3 entrance into a circle. Place four dark oak stairs in each corner. And then place three dark oak trap doors. And you can place one at the bottom if you want, but you don't have to. For our roof, start with a spruce log going across the top from front to back. And then we'll fill in the rest with dark oak top slabs. Now to decorate, let's place some bookshelves on the back left side. And I'm also going to mix in some looms to look like empty shelves. In front of that, I'll place two beds. You can use any color. I'll place a chest on the right side of that bookshelf. And then on top, I'll place a pot with a sapling and a skeleton skull. Above the chest, I'll place a lantern on that log. And in our reading nook, I'll place two scaffolding. And if you want to, you can replace those blocks behind with bookshelves. Next, I'll just make a chair using an oak stair and an oak sign. And on our scaffold table, I'll place some candles. In this corner, I'll place a double chest. And then on the wall, I'll place a two-wide painting. Finally, I'll just place two signs on the end of the bed. Back in our main room, I'm going to place a crafting table in this corner. And I'll place some candles on top. And above it, I'll place an item frame with a spyglass in it. In this corner by the door, I'll place a moss block, place two trap doors around it, and then place an azalea tree and flowering azalea leaves above it. I'll hang a lantern on this log, 
and then we'll dig out our biggest room which will be the kitchen slash dining room and it'll be 9 blocks by 7 blocks. So first of all let's go in 7 blocks in this direction. This one right here will be our entryway so that doesn't count. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And this should line up with the wall on the outside. we will go 9 blocks in this direction, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then if we just go in this direction, we should get to the wall that we already made. And we'll just go ahead and dig out all of this to 3 blocks high for now. And I'll just go ahead and count the walls to make sure we got the right dimensions. So this one doesn't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then in this direction, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's start building out a roof which will match the one on the outside. In this first level, we'll just place dark oak planks. Then slabs. And we'll basically just going up with the slope of slabs until we get to the high point which will line up with the chimney. And then we'll go back down. So you'll notice that the roof isn't even, but don't worry, that's not a mistake. Anyway, now that we have our roof in place, I'm going to go outside and fix up any damage that I did. So I'll take some of our moss blocks and moss carpets and just make this look a little bit more natural. And now we'll go back inside and fix up our walls. So first of all, on this wall, I'm going to place two spruce log pillars, three blocks apart and in the center of that wall. Then on the fifth block up, I'm going to place oak logs sideways going across the top of the roof, in line with those logs that we just placed. Now for our floor, I'm going to start off with dark oak planks. These three blocks in front of the chimney we'll use our deep slate blocks and also the block inside the chimney and we'll continue our dark oak planks. However in this spot right here going out from the logs three blocks and then to the other log so a 3 by 5 we'll place deep slate tiles. Then we'll continue our dark oak planks. This far side of our wall will be covered up so you don't really need to place the floor in there but it doesn't really matter if you do. Next we'll start working on our walls. So we'll place our deep slate blocks on the first level and we already have most of them in place. I'm going to fix up this chimney just to make it look a little bit better. And then we'll fill in our walls with our oak mixture. You probably already know how to do it by now, so I'm going to speed this up. So for the decorations, let's start with our chimney. Place a campfire in the middle there, an iron bar in front, and then two cobbled deep slate walls on each side. Then we'll place two cobbled deep slate stairs on top. Now in each of these two sections on the side of the wall, we've filled in with bookshelves and you can also place a couple of looms if you want empty bookshelves. In this middle section we'll start with three furnaces on the bottom level, then place an upside down stair on each side with the trap door in between. At the top place three barrels, and place a torch on each of these logs. 
In this part in the back, place three blast furnaces, but make them sideways so it just looks like tiles or bricks or something. I don't have to break out this block so I can place it sideways. And then replace these blocks that we broke. Next place two waxed, exposed, cut copper blocks going out from each of these logs. This will be our counters. On one place a cake and then an item frame with a stake. On the other side I'll place a pressure plate in a pot. Then I'm going to place spruce trap doors on the sides to cover up that copper side. On the back side I'm going to place two two block wide shelves using spruce trap doors. And on top of the shelves you can just place some flowers, candles, or whatever other decorations you want. Next we'll make a table, so start with three fence posts one block apart and one block away from that wall. Place fence gates in between and then cover the top with spruce trap doors. Next we'll place spruce stairs every other block in line with those fence posts. And then I'm going to place three one by one paintings. I'll just add some placeholder blocks to get the right size. Then I'm going to place an armor stand in this corner by the bookshelves. And on the other side I'll place two ladders to reach those top shelves. Directly above the center of the table I'm going to place a lantern on this log. And then I'm going to make this entryway circular using our dark oak stairs and dark oak trap doors. And that's it for our hobbit hole. This interior is mainly decorative, but if you need more storage space or crafting materials, there's plenty of room to expand into the hillside. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this and I hope to see you again soon.